Hello everyone, welcome to our new series topic of the day. Today we will discuss about Ganges River Dolphin. Now recently the Ministry of Jal Shakti released a guide for the safe rescue and release of stranded Ganges River Dolphins. Let us discuss in brief about the dolphins. Its scientific name is Platanista gangetica and were discovered officially in 1801. They are widely found in the Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers and their tributaries in India, Bangladesh and Nepal. Their significant characteristic is that they are only found in the fresh water and does not have a crystalline eye lens, thereby rendering it effectively blind. They do navigation and hunting through a highly developed sonar system using echolocation or the use of ultrasonic sounds. Their body is brownish color and stocky in the middle. Let's talk a bit about their significance. They are the indicator of the health of entire river ecosystem. They help in controlling and maintaining the healthy fish and crustacean populations. Government of India declared it National Aquatic Animal in 2009. Common threats include habitat degradation via pollution, construction, etc. Accidental deaths via entanglement in the nets by catch or by poaching. The IUCN has categorized the Ganges River Dolphin as endangered. It is covered under the Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Now let us talk about some steps taken by the government for conservation and awareness about the dolphins. First is the project dolphin. For conservation of dolphins and aquatic habitat through the use of technology. That is by reduction in pollution and sustainable fishery. National Ganga River Dolphin Day. Now October 5 is celebrated as the National Ganga River Dolphin Day. Because on this day it was declared as the National Aquatic Animal in 2009. A dolphin century called the Vikram Shila Gangetic Dolphin Sanctuary, is established in Bihar. The Wildlife Institute of India has launched a conservation action plan for dolphin back in 2016. Now let us discuss about the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. It was amended in 2006. It provides for the protection of countries' wild animals, birds and plant species. Under this act, Central Zoo Authority and National Board for Wildlife were created. Schedule 1 of this act covers endangered species and gives them absolute protection wherein trade and killing is prohibited. The second schedule gives highest protection and trade and killing is again prohibited. Schedule 3 and 4 covers non-endangered species but it gives less penalty for killing. Schedule 5 contains animals that can be hunted. Schedule 6 specifies that endemic plants are prohibited from cultivation and planting. Now let us take up one practice question. With reference to the Ganges River Dolphins, consider the following statements. First, they hunt by emitting ultrasonic sounds. Second, these can only live in fresh water and are essentially blind. Third, it is categorized as critically endangered under the IUCN Red List. Which of the statement given above is correct? You have to choose the correct option. You can write your answers in the comment section and find the correct answer in the pinned comment. So that is all for today. We'll see you with a new topic in the upcoming video. Do stay tuned.